this is Mrs. Cooper with the weekly update for the week of February 8th, 2019. I have tons of stuff to tell you about this week. School yearbooks are now for sale on both campuses. Yearbooks cost $27 in advance and $32 after they come in. Be sure to order a copy. On January 30th, we celebrated the 100th day of school. Here are some pictures. PBMA participated in Take Your Son or Daughter to Work Day. Here are our proud staff mommies and their children. Last week was Spirit Week. We had Crazy Sock Day and Dress as Your Future Profession Day. It was lots of fun. We are having a Valentine's Day Wood Rose fundraiser. The roses are gorgeous and come in a rainbow of beautiful colors. Please send back the order form with your child in advance and I will let students pick out the roses on February 14th. Roses cost $2 each or two for $3. We will once again participate in the Pennies for Patients coin drive for leukemia and lymphoma. More information will be sent home soon. The charity drive runs from February 18th and goes until March 8th at both of our campuses. Please check your student's backpack for the PBMA re-enrollment packet. This is for all our students, including fifth graders going on to our middle school. Charter school students are required to re-enroll to the school each and every year. The packets are due Friday, February 22nd to guarantee your child's enrollment for next year. If you have not received the packet, please contact the office or email me at scooper at pbmalantana.org for another copy. After February 22nd, your application will have to go into the lottery. The fifth graders will go to visit our middle school campus on Tuesday, February 19th. The students will participate in a marine science lab, play on the PE fields, learn about the Sea Cadet program, and enjoy pizza and ice cream. Here's Ms. Dvorak. Hi, I'm Christy Dvorak, elementary school counselor. We are already at the end of second trimester. I can't believe it. Report cards will be coming home at the end of the month, so the end of February. Expect to see your child's report card coming home for second trimester scores. Some other exciting things that we're doing, again, we continue with our character traits for every month. Today we're celebrating those that got Shark of the Month for January. So those that showed the most courage and were courageous are going to be having popcorn with the principal today. So again, we thank you for all those that show courage and these character traits every month. For the month of February, we're focusing on fairness. I do want to give two shout outs to Mr. Berlinski's class and Miss Owen's class. These two classes have the most green sharks in the cafeteria. So again, if we're respectful and responsible in the cafeteria, your child earns green sharks for great behavior. So keep it up to all classes as we continue into third trimester. First and third grade visited Gumbo Limbo. Let's hear all about it. <laughs> okay, I have three students that went to Gumbo Limbo. Who do I have here? Tyler, Joseph, Janicia. And you're in what grade? Third, third grade. grade. And whose class? Miss Martin. Okay. What did you see at Gumbo Limbo? Um, we saw fish, we saw other turtles, 
we saw some uninjured ones. Oh. And at the end, what we did is we had lunch. We went to the beach. We found shells and found other treasures, and then we went to the bus and Okay. Came back home. And what did you see there? I saw that um, there were six turtles there, and then we saw a turtle that lost a finger. Oh, one of his flippers? Yes. Oh, okay. And um, the, there was jellyfish all over the ocean. So you stayed away from them? Yes. Yeah, they stink. Genesia? We, we saw a lot of stingrays. When we went to the beach, we, we, we found a lot of um, cool treasures. What I found, I, I found a sand dollar Ooh, and pretty. two almond seeds. Oh, okay. And what was your favorite part of it being there? Um, looking at the fish tanks. Oh, those are pretty, and huh? looking at all of the different kinds of fish. The very big fish tanks, right? Yeah. Okay. And what was your favorite part? My favorite part was going to the beach and collecting shells. Nice. And yours, Shanicia? My favorite part when I was when we were looking at the stingrays. Stingrays. I like how they swim, right? They look like they're flying in the water. Anything else you guys want to tell me about it? Mm. No? Mm. You think it's a good place for kids to go? Yes. yes. It was a great trip, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm glad you had fun. Ms. Trish taught fourth grade all about where chocolate comes from and how it is made. She even let the students try the very bitter cocoa powder that is made into yummy chocolate. It was so interesting to learn all about everyone's favorite candy. Ms. Trish taught third graders all about space and planets. The students created spinners to show how Saturn's rings look solid when they are actually composed of dust and rocks that are spinning fast around the planet. Boca Raton Rotary Club graciously donated beautiful dictionaries to all of our third graders. Three club members visited the classes to demonstrate the uses of the dictionaries. The dictionaries even had maps, a listing of presidents, and other interesting information. Thank you to the Rotary Club for donating the dictionaries and their time to our students. Our secondary school, grades 6 to 12, is holding a parent FSA information night on February 13th at 5 o'clock p.m. Please remember to like and follow us on Facebook. I'm Mrs. Cooper. Thanks for watching. And remember, an engaged parent is a great parent.